This morning I'm going to cover how to drop a database in MongoDB. And one question I've seen come up quite a bit is how to create a database in MongoDB. And I think this this is one of the cool things about MongoDB, at least from like an ETL side or a document storage side, is that it's really easy to create a database. So if I say show DBS, that'll show all the databases. And if I do use non-existent database, it will switch to that database. But if I say show DBS, it doesn't exist. Now if I say use non-existent database, I almost did a space, and then I'm going to insert or create a collection. So I say db.create collection, and I'm going to call it I'm here. Then it says OK. Now if I say show DBS, you can see non-existent database exists. Which is awesome because in a, let's suppose that I had a, a process in, in C Sharp that would insert a bunch of documents, say Word documents or whatnot, into the database. I could sit there and have it start out by using a database that didn't exist and then um, creating and inserting a collection. And then from that point on, it doesn't need to do anything. So it's not like this formal process of building a database and setting up all the information here or whatnot. And uh, the other thing as well is like if you set up now the admin administration in MongoDB, once you get that built, and I would suggest getting that built before you do all this, then you'll know where all of your files go. Uh, but it's, I think it's really handy that it's that simple to, to construct a database. It doesn't, you don't have to sit there and go through this whole formal process. Okay, now we're going to drop the DB since that's what we want to do. So db.drop uh, database. And you'll see we dropped non-existent. So the key is to use the database that you want to draw to drop, I'm sorry, draw, yeah. And then once you use that database, then you hit db.dropdatabase and it will drop the database. And uh, that's one of the ways in which you can do that. Keep in mind there's a lot of ways that you can do both of those things, whether it's creating a database or dropping a database, but those are, are two really cool ways to go about doing it.